Shop Talk Tech Tips are brought to you by SNS. Proven performance for the power sports industry. Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris from Cycle Source Magazine, Grease and Gears TV. And we're in the shop getting ready to make a run at building some frames this winter. Got some cool projects coming up. We have an opportunity to be in, involved with the Chopper Friends Throwdown, now the second iteration of the FXR Friends Throwdown. And uh, we're going to be building a 49 pan head. So I'm finishing up my fixture so that it's ready to duplicate the frame cradle of this 49 pan head. From there, we're going to add the dimensions of our style of chopper. This is like a Pennsylvania mountain chopper that we do. On last week's shop talk, we showed you guys where we're getting the, the little bits and pieces from bitter end old school chopper. But even after you get this stuff, there's still some more things to do. Today, we're going to be working on the axle plates. A couple different ways to approach this, depending on how you're going to be building your bike. Some guys just notch this out completely. We have these caps that we're doing and we've cut this valley in with a, um, a ball end mill and that's going to accept our frame tubing. So I'm going to show you guys how to fixture this stuff up and how to work on your manual milling machine to, to do this little groove for your frame rails. All right, so the biggest thing you have to learn when you're working with this piece of equipment is it's only ever going to be as good as you can hold something down to this table and square it up. So fixturing, holding, and, and squaring, verifying, is the the top jobs that you'll do on this because until you get that part right and i can tell you this from experience you will whip half finished parts across the room and nothing makes me spout profanity like getting halfway done with something and watching it fly across the room knowing that i just junked two or three hours of my time first thing you want to think about is how you're going to establish a perch for your material basically i have two of the two of the bars that come with my hold down kit. I'm going to start with one right in the middle of my axle plate. Now you see these things have like a little nose on them and then they have these little steps in the back and you want to get downward angle on these. Now this is the surface I'm going to be cutting so it's the part that I want to make sure I'm holding down as close to the cut and I have complete support underneath the cut area. All of these are finger tight. Tighten the center one just enough. The rest of these are just getting a little snug so they don't move around on me. To verify this edge, I have this magnetic base. I'm going to use a brass hammer if you're going to make adjustments to this. Basically, it's just back and forth watching to see the gauge move. Look at that. Okay, so we're within a couple thousandths there. We're going to leave that. First thing I'm going to do is raise up that deck height. And I'm going to establish my X and Y zeros. Once I establish my front to back, I'm actually going to lock the jib in so that this part won't be able to move. With that done, I'm going to set my zero for my quill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the deck as I work this piece of paper back and forth until you feel it dragging. Then at that point you take it until it pinches. We're going to loosen up the gauge on our, our, our knee adjustment. Now zero is on the table at zero. I'm going to set both the X and Y at zero. I'm going to move my X so that the tool tip goes into the middle of the part. Turn my machine on. And I'm going to make sure that at zero, I'm pulling a chip. And now I can just see it's leaving a line there. Now we have zero front to back, zero left to right. The part is square with the table. Our digital readout is ready to track this to the inch and a half depth that we want. So we've established that it will give me the three quarters width of that channel that I want to make into it. So 240,000 at an inch and five. So that's about going to wrap it up for today. Remember, if you enjoy this type of programming, catch more of it over at CycleSource YouTube page. Until next time, this is Chris with Greasing Gears TV.